this afternoon in Westerly. Let's send it over to 12 News reporter Matt Paddock, who joins us now live in Narragansett with the latest on the conditions out there. Matt. Mike, you can kind of see it right here behind me. The waves are starting to calm down a bit. I mean, just an hour ago, you could have fooled me. It looked like it was snowing at time, but we know it wasn't snow. It was the sea foam. But the number one thing that I'd like to take away going on right now here in Narragansett is the foot traffic that you're seeing at the seawall. When I tell you, we've seen hundreds walking by, acting as, this, as if this was just another beach day. There's been dogs out, there's been children out, there's been families out. I mean, we have police here that have still have all of these streets blocked off to traffic. But like I said, it's that foot traffic. It's people coming out, kind of treating as it is any other day. Now, like we had said, when we first got out here, probably about an hour, hour and a half ago, the wind was crazy. We saw tree branches down in the streets. We actually saw trees completely closing off streets to traffic. But as we start to wrap it up here in Narragansett, I want to make sure we toss it over to our own Kim Kalunian, who's going to continue our coverage here. Kim? Matt, I know you're out there battling the elements, and we were curious what it was like outside of the Rhode Island EMA headquarters here in Cranston. So we made our way outside to check out the scene in the uh, tropical storm, and it is quite gusty here, not much in the way of rain. As Tony mentioned, we're on the dry side of the storm at this hour. I spoke with the Rhode Island EMA director about an hour ago, and he said that the eye was approaching the mainland. And as we heard Governor Dan McKee tell Arshina Loshudo in the last hour, just because you're seeing the sunshine where you are doesn't mean that we're quite out of the woods yet because the storm is moving through our area. The concern from emergency management officials continues to be that storm surge, potentially three to five feet, and also power outages as we continue tracking those. As Tony mentioned, around 80,000 National Grid customers in Rhode Island are currently without power. It's going to take some time for those crews to be able to get out there safely with the continued wind that we're seeing. They say it could be a day or so before they can actually start getting out there to fix those outages. So hang tight and we will have another update for you here from the EMA at 4 o'clock. Mike.